Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, it's a quick uh, little video um, where I will show you how you can customize a single post uh, to make it a little bit more fancy, especially if you have a, a long blog post with a lot of different headers. It's really a more structured way to show your blog post like on the side you will have a nice sidebar that has all the headings in it and if they click on a heading they will automatically scroll to that part of the post um, and it looks really nice as well so i've made a default just a normal wordpress blog post page with three dummy posts in it and they all have the same content just to make it easy we have dummy two with one two and three headings and each time a little bit of uh, a little bit of text in it uh, and we're going to make a little sidebar here on the left side and the sidebar is going to contain these headings and make it uh, easy to scroll them but this is not of course a quite a short post so it's going to work even better if you have like with some images or a video in between so the, the post is scrolling down uh, way further then this is going to be really really useful for your um, for your posts and to make them uh, really easy to digest yeah? you see this uh, previous next post similar posts these are all default settings from the cadence team uh, i won't really go over those now but you can change this as well yeah? so first things first we have to make sure there is a sidebar attached to our post so that we can do with the customizer if i go into the customizer and I go to this posts and pages layout here, click on it, go to the single post layout. You see for custom post types, this works as well, yeah? but I'm not going to use the teachers now. Single post layout, the default post, this is. You see, you can have some different things here that you can, now you see dummy two is gone. So there are a lot of options here. You can make the title like this if you want to, instead of like this. So. I'm not going to go over all these, they speak for themselves. You have a lot of different options again to change some uh, colors and stuff. Uh, you can change the alignment. But the thing we are interested in is the default post layout. We're going to check this one with the left sidebar like this. Now you will see we have a default sidebar and we're going to change this with a cadence element. You can also make the post unboxed, then it's all in one. Uh, same uh, layout. I'm going to leave it like this so it's uh, easy to see with the sidebar. I'm going to click publish, go back out. We are going to change this um, sidebar. So we go to the back end, we go to appearance, and then to elements. This is the one we need. I'm going to click on add a new one, and we want a template. We're going to call this custom sidebar for post and then we're going to see where we want to place this we want to replace our sidebar and then we have to check here we want to show this on our posts and we want to show it on our single post so you will see again if you have custom post types like teachers you can make a different sidebar and only show this on the teachers single post and they have a different one for your default post so that's a really powerful feature so user we want to see everybody has to be able to see this and then we can already click publish for now voila so this is already okay now here we're going to add a cadence block click on add block browse all of them and we go a little bit to the bottom and we have here table of contents this is a really nice block we're going to put it in now you won't see anything because it's not attached to the post at this moment click on the gear icon and then you see here allowed headers so you can if you want them all to be included you can leave them all if you say i don't want the, the smallest ones in it then you can change this as well i'm going to leave it for now like this the title uh, so for the post we can all a lot of settings you can do you can make it collapsible so i'll put it in so you can see in a minute what this means uh, and attach this one as well so then they can click on the title to to toggle it list settings if you want i want underline or hover not standard and we can change the color if you want to just to make it a little bit more easy to see let's do it like this just, i'm just doing some stuff like this for example font size all these things you can change 
if you want to uppercase everything for example container settings we can make background so we can see it's a sidebar for example this color make it a bit more clear like this for example and we can make it a shadow as well scroll settings smooth scroll enable it and enable highlighting is also a really cool feature uh, let's just pick a fancy color so it's easy to see i will show you in a minute and click on update so now if i go back to the site go to our dashboard or our website calls is called custom dashboard and let's open up one post and what do we see we have our it doesn't look too beautiful now i know but it's just to show you it's collapsible like this it has the shadow because i enabled box shadow i can click on it heading one heading two heading three so it's getting the underline on hover that's the setting i chose it's capitalized and if i click on one it's scrolling to the div to the one yeah so that's really nice so the, on, the other thing you can do is make it sticky so that it will stay on top so that they can keep clicking even if they are at the bottom of the post and not only on top so that for that we have to change something else as well if we go back to the customizer open this one up then go to the general sidebar enable sticky sidebar and then just click on publish go back out and now you see this changes as well because I arrive at heading 3, it goes to heading 3, heading 2, heading 1. So that's also really nice, but then it has to be a fixed sidebar because otherwise yeah, this won't be showing up. Again, the layout is not too fancy now, it, look, it looks quite ugly if I have to be honest, but just to show you that it's working really easily like this. Yeah? So if you have big posts or you just want to have a nice table of contents, you can do this like this. Okay, this was helpful uh, and see you in the next one. Thank you.